Hello, and welcome back to the Southern Journal of Sciences. It is a pleasure to see you here again. Our colleague John will start today's presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. It is a pleasure to be here today with you. The manuscript, Self-Assembled Multilayers of Water Glucose Modified Catasand and Glucose Oxidase for Detection of Glucose in Milk Samples came from Argentina. It was written by Florencia Galata, Ladislao Diaz Vergara, Mariana Montenegro, Nancy Ferreira, and Veronica Paz Zanini. Let's proceed with Katie for the background. Katie, the presentation is yours. Thank you, John and Mary. It is a pleasure to be here today with you too. Let me start the presentation. Background A crucial aspect of electrochemical enzymatic biosensor development is the immobilization of the enzymes as it directly influences the sensitivity of the bioelectrode. Among the different methods used for the incorporation of enzymes on the surface of the transducers, layer-by-layer self-assembly based on electrostatic interaction with polyelectrolytes of opposite charge stands out due to its simplicity and reproducibility. Let's see the aims. The aim of the work was to develop an electrochemical glucose biosensor through a layer-by-layer -layer assembly of a new functionalized catasan polycation and the enzyme glucose oxidase. Methods Kytosan was chemically functionalized with glucose by the Maillard reaction. The resulting polycation, named GCHIT, is soluble in the medium compatible with the enzyme. The bioelectrode was obtained by alternating adsorption of GCHIT and glucose oxidase onto carbon paste electrodes. By selecting the number of bilayers of GCHIT and glucose oxidase, the enzyme concentration, and the pH, the electroanalytical performance of the biosensor was optimized. The electrochemical responses were characterized by cyclic voltammetry and chronoamperometry. Results Under optimized experimental conditions, the biosensor exhibited a sensitivity of 0.81, plus or minus 0.03 microampere per millimole, in a glucose concentration range of 0.18 to 1.75 millimoles. Discussion. The results indicated that catalytic response increases both with the number of GCHIT and glucose oxidase bilayers and the enzyme concentration, obtaining the best responses for three bilayers and two milligram per milliliter, respectively, while the optimum working pH value was 7.0. Conclusions. The analytical response of the biosensor was tested in milk samples with negligible matrix effects, suggesting a potential application in other dairy products. Results show that GCHIT appears promising for the immobilization of enzymes. That concludes today's presentation. Now let's go back with Mary. Thank you, Katie. If you enjoy this abstract, please visit our website and download the full content of this manuscript. Thank you very much for your attention, and I hope to see you soon at our next presentation.